hey welcome back you're always shine from vivid, vivid days i've just had an interesting time in the studio where i have had to um i bought my artwork because for the first time i started to have chemical reactions um and when i say chemical reactions um i'm referring to um the heat that was generated from my resin and powders or pigments or inks they got very hot and congealed very quickly and went very very hard so I managed to get one piece out but um, that was it so I have cleaned it all up and I am starting again what I am going to do is work quickly though so that at least it's on the board and I'm not going to waste any resin I'm going to work with some purples and blues So just mixing very very quickly just make sure I don't waste anything beautiful pink I'll tell you the colors once they're all mixed and sell down they were just the whites that I've just done the base coat um, beautiful purple very very deep but hopefully in the white it's gonna tone down and get lots of different colors then there is almost like a raspberry flavor there hardly got any colours compared to white I'm trying to make sure that I have a lot of white in there and the colours just trickle through I'm thinking of maybe doing a drag or just blowing it with a torch and letting it do its own thing and overlap each other and have some wonderful textures this is a very very deep blue indigo so um, I'm probably not going to use too much of that but I'm thinking if I put that behind some of the purples or blues it should give nice gradients and then a red but again just mindful that I need to be very very quick so clear out my bits and what I am working with is a uh, Windsor and Newton ink that one is the lovely purple that I've got that's like the raspberry I also have a uh, magic color which is that beautiful uh, purple um, again with this beautiful blue that we've got there that's the sky blue uh, red that's the deep indigo white and I've blended these two colors together they're both pinks one is called sundown and magenta and the other one is platinum pink just to get a nice tone pink that I want for this but I am mindful that I want to be getting this down without spilling it all over I'm going to breathe and try not to panic <laughs> um, and get this down pretty pretty quickly I'm not too sure if it was the heat I had it heated up my art studio because it's quite cold out here but I probably had it too hot or whether it was just the volumes of colours that I'd mixed in my resin already it's because they were in plastic cups so this time I've gone for cardboard cups to see if that helps but never had that before so if anybody else has experienced that I would really 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 appreciate you sharing what was the cause of that so I can then um, prevent it again on the plus this is why when you're working with resin you have to remember it is a chemical and you have to remember to be in a well ventilated area make sure that you do have access because you are dealing with chemicals blow torches so in all seriousness a fire could break out so I'm going on with this board that I did the other day which started off okay but then I muddied it so then I just played around with it for a little bit and lost it all together and so I'm going over this and I'm going to just try to work on some pretty colours that I find quite pleasing and I'm just going to spread this out as quick as I can You can do this Sharon Let's try the pressure uh, not wanting them to all 
set so hard or heat up too much. Never had that before. There's pressure because I've never gone through it before.
this is all from my own mind. I did it with just the colours inks. I wanted a nice romanticish feel. Um, and then I just put my fingers through and then all of a sudden it looked like it was going towards something. And I thought, I wonder if I can make that into uh, looking like a rose and that's feeding into everything. Wow. That's come out beautiful. Mm. I just hope. It should more or less have stayed now. It had gone quite tacky. And there's some depth in there. You can see some of the lines yeah. I draw through at last. And then very last off I just did these circles around the middle to look like mine. But there is... You can't think of it, can you? I can't. There's something it reminds me of. I don't know if it's Depeche Mode something or other. Check the edges. <coughs> it all comes to Hopefully. All the edges there. I can't see any obvious bubbles or anything like that. Mm. I just, no, I can just feel so it's much positive really energy. Really nice. Well. I was in this bit to see that. Not bad for my third covering <coughs> on this board. No. <laughs> but I love the colours. I love the depth at the middle. I don't mind it being darker in the middle and lighter at the edges. No. No, no. It's a beautiful picture. So I have just finished working on this piece, very very wet, just bringing it in to show you where it looks like so far I'm in love with this piece so much. I feel positive energy and love. I know that I was going for a romantic feel, I wanted to work with purples, reds and blues. But I didn't imagine it looking like this or this rose appearing in the middle. But you see something, it captures your eye and then you're working it. And I just love, love, love the depth that's in there. So I'm praying that on this happy Easter, a few hours left in the day, this is going to set as we see it here. Normally I don't have a lot of trained in mine as you see them this is as it gets because I tend to work on them when it's tacky and that's when I get a lot of my sculpting and depth uh, I've just been looking after it for about 20 minutes and most of the runoffs have now finished so I'm about to put it to bed but love 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 so I'm hoping that in the daylight when I wake up I'll take some more footage it's very dark here at the moment it's raining but hopefully you enjoyed this as well happy Easter and have a wonderful evening and I will see you in a couple of days when it's dry in the morning I'm very happy to know that my roses stayed there and it stayed pretty much the same as it was last night so yay still love the vibrancy of this, love the flow, love the image, and it still reminds me of something where I've got no idea what. Yay, it stayed there. I'm back, it's dried. I'm hoping that the lighting in here is going to be light enough to give you the vibrancy of these colours and the shimmers that are coming through in some of them. So I'm just taking you around. Hoping you're enjoying. Absolutely love this piece. There's just one imperfection that I found, and that is where a little mozzie decided to land on my flower. So I'm contemplating just leaving it because in certain angles you can't see it, and then in other ones you can, but I do not want to ruin this piece. I don't know if you're going to be able to see some of the shimmers in some of the colours, not in all of them, just some of them, so it adds a nice different depth and texture to what you are seeing, and that is mainly in the blues, but there is some in the pinks, that one looks like a rose, and some in the green there, and the colours around this rose are to die for, they just bring you in and it just adds so much warmth and love. Just bold colours which I absolutely love. 
I would love, love, love your thoughts in this piece. It reminds me of something, I don't know where it is, but I just cannot stop thinking. It reminds me of something. There's a feeling, it keeps trying to flick a memory, but I don't know where it is, but I love it. I'll show you from a different so I am going to, yes, yes, I am very proud. But if you like my art or my videos, please give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, and please leave comments. They are always welcome. And I would love to hear about your creative journey and answer any problems you may have if I know that knowledge because I am still learning myself. Or if you've got any hot tips, please share. Together we will grow and we'll learn and we'll have fun more around our days in our studio. So yeah, that's enough from me. Get off my speech. <laughs> Hi horse. Um, have an amazing day.